Rosie Mocha. Any updates on Ukraine? Uh, yeah, Ukraine is collapsing. Ukraine is collapsing hard, hard. I feel sorry for Ukrainians. Right? It was a completely unnecessary war. As I said before, it's the most unnecessary war I've know, I know of in history. Really, uh, I don't know any other war uh, that was as unnecessary as this, and that was as obvious what the outcome was going to be as this. We called it from the get-go when, when it started. We had a lot of people, Ukraine's going to win. Ukraine. I was like, you guys are out of your fucking minds, man. Ukraine's being sacrificed. Sacrificed for the NATO agenda. To divert people from the economic collapse of the Western world. To another carrot being dangled. Unfortunately, it's Ukrainian and Russian lives that are being, that are being dangled. We mentioned that Europe was committing suicide. Suicide, right? And people were like, no, Ukraine, Ukraine, Ukraine's going to wear, look at the France and Germany, Ukraine. It's like talking to fucking bird brains, man. So sad, so sad, so sad, right? I still see Ukrainian flags. This is how low IQ is it here. You still see people flying Ukrainian flags. It's like, might as well fucking tattoo. I'm a dumb motherfucker right off your forehead. That's how fucking dumb I am. I put fucking dumb motherfucker on my forehead. That's that's the people flying Ukrainian flags, right? Crazy, crazy. I can see having respect, honor, uh, loving your country, but the dumb motherfuckers here that are flying Ukrainian flags, they're not doing it for that. They're saying you war pro. They're pro war, right? Fuck absolutely disgusting absolutely they sacrificed 500,000 ukrainians and 60,000 russians to their nato war mongering gods i've said it before you western europe has started two world wars and they're starting the third one the oligarchs the aristocrats in the western world right in Europe specifically and the military industrial complex in the United States right those Western uh, those oligarchs in Western Europe in Europe right they need to be dealt with that's three fucking world wars they've started when is humanity gonna say you know what we had enough of these motherfuckers all those kings and queens and lords and and, and aristocrats and the EU unelected people um, time to time to have a little talk motherfuckers right that's my opinion that's my opinion that's the update on Ukraine it's fucking sad sad right can we use this uh, space lasers on them man if 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 NATO of the Western world escalates this anymore right um, Russia will not hold back right Russia will not hold back washing we had space washing machines they Russia Russia's economy is as Duran like to call it well, tatters they're gonna go to tatters right uh, as they're quoting uh, Mendeleyan and all those clowns in the EU right they went after Russia to balkanize it, take its resources, and they fucking lost. And it wasn't a loss where they just walk away scot-free. They collapsed Western economies. They caused hundreds of thousands of deaths, millions of refugees, okay, annihilated a nation, and rolled out tyranny in our own countries, right? because they silenced us we're trying to silence us i don't know when are when are npcs in the western world going to wake up we'll see we'll see we'll see and gang do not forget do not forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity something that we desperately desperately need in our societies 
For more information, see wikileaks.org, candlesforassange.com, or countless resources available on free speech platforms.